Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Flo Dali, PhD candidate from the University of Cambridge. Today, on behalf of myself and my supervisor, Dr. Villagis, I'd like to give you a presentation about our innovation for creating a digital replica of the existing bridge. There are 500,000 bridge inspections per year in the EU and the US. However, this bridge inspection is manually done by inspectors today because we don't have virtual models for them to work with. So even though people foresee that tomorrow all of our instructions, constructions bridges are going to be digitalized and be managed in a virtual space, however, people are not creating such virtual models for existing bridges because people perceive the costs of doing so overweigh the benefits. Our innovation improves the cost and benefit ratio by automating this process of generating such a virtual model for existing bridge. We'll leverage bridge engineering knowledge in our solution, so the solution can automatically understand the, the meanings of bridge components and to locate them quickly in the virtual space and then model them automatically. Human models may find it very difficult to model the complex geometry of bridge because, especially the deck, because it's never straight or flat, it always contains contain a certain degree of curvature horizontal or vertical opting field direction. We help the modelers to automate this process by using a slicing method. For example, look at this thread, if we, which is in a free form shape. If we want to model it, we can cut it down into slices. Then we model each slice and merge them together to reach the global configuration of this, of this thread, right? Likewise, our bridge can follow the same strategy we can break down the entire bridge deck into slices and then model each slice. The global configuration of the bridge model can be reached by using multiple slice models. So this is a general idea. We implemented our solution into a robust prototype and we tested it on 10 highway bridges in Cambridge from our database, very successful. We would like to be very happy to share all of our findings, results with all of you here. And uh, however, our solution today only focuses on slam bridges, being and slam bridges, being and slam bridges. So we are going to extend our solution and test it on uh, other bridge types. In this September, we are going to collaborate with our industry partners, H2M and uh, Network Rail. They will provide us more uh, real-world bridge data, and we are going to start a, a trial deployment with them. We are going to train their engineers to use our solution and our software independently from us. We're very looking forward to having a full-scale full result by end of this year. And, uh, and also, we have already our pre-alpha version software done, and uh, the whole idea will be developed into our TRL6 beta software at the end of this process. So we're going also to apply, uh, to file a patent application under the support of our industry partner, Trimble and we also plan to productize it, if it's possible, in the near future. Thank you very much. Yes, you're, um, I think you're, it, you're implying that the slicing of this bridge to digital slices is more powerful, it's more something than point cloud. Would you describe the competitive advantage of slicing versus point cloud technology and why you position now to win? Okay, so I, I didn't mention that. Actually, we use point cloud. We cut, we, we use a slicing algorithm on the point cloud, which, which is our input data. So I don't, I, I just assume not everybody knows point cloud here. So I didn't mention that we use point cloud actually as our input data. So slicing is just our method, it's our tool to work with point cloud and how to construct the point cloud from, from point cloud to a virtual model. Okay, well we use. Thank you. Any questions from the audience? Okay. Um, very interesting presentation. Uh, I really like the slicing in your digital uh, environment. Are you also thinking about uh, making this uh, or using this slicing technique in the physical environment where you 
use 3D printing techniques and those kind of techniques to physically create your bridge. So, um, excuse me, if I understand, I don't know if I understand well, so you mentioned the printing techniques. Well, if, you, if you're going to build your bridge, and you, the design is a sliced design, so you have all these components in your design, that could be a basis to use these uh, sliced, uh, this design to, to uh, start 3D printing technologies. That print all these slices and then build the bridge together. So the general idea, actually, the, our my research focused on how to reconstruct point cloud from point cloud to uh, to three D models. So basically, we are using uh, point cloud as a, as our input data. So probably we can consider to use other input source too. Okay, so it's it's setting the product reach is what we're looking at here as a, an innovative idea. Okay, do you want to ask a question? Uh, Ida Marbrook um, from BAM. Um, it's interesting you, you sliced it up and that's given you sections of the bridge to inspect. Have you gone as far as to how to associate the inspection with that section and how that information is transferred? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't quite understand your question. Can you please repeat it? You've you, you broken up the bridge into elements. Yes. And now an inspector is going to inspect it. How does he associate information with that element? Oh, um, okay, I, 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 I think I should um, explain that a little bit in detail. So I use point cloud data as my input. So point cloud is, um, is the outshell 3D ports of the existing branch. So we use it as for computers. Point cloud means nothing. It carries no information from point cloud. So we, can't, we, we try to reconstruct from point cloud to a 3D model. Slicing here is just to our solution just 10 seconds to, to, to reach the, uh, the objective of our research. So our objective is to create the 3D model, but in the end, we have the 3D models. Probably it's nothing in slices, but um, it can, um, so the components can be, can be also um, inspected in the future with, with these slices and also without these slices. But uh, the slicing algorithm actually is uh, is used in our uh, in our algorithm to um, it is used in order to reconstruct reconstruct from point clouds to a three D model. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Well done. Okay, our launch with presenter, please.